I am about to spend $10,000 in the next 200 seconds ordering the most impossibly thin tech on the entire planet. Okay, I mean, how thin do cameras get? Well, it's definitely not you. Wait, a paper camera? What? This is gonna be saucy. Okay, uh, thinnest tablet in the world. The Remarkable 2. It's only 299. Okay. 399 when you don't get their subscription. No, I just said I didn't want the subscription. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, you have to buy the pen separately. 129. The 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 cover is 119. Oh, you cheeky little. Did that actually just become 700? <laughs> I feel like I've just been robbed. Anyways, let's find a charger for it. Well, would you look at that? The size of a credit card. You will do just fine. Hmm, slimmest earphones in the world. The slimmest printer in the world. So one of the things that I normally try and do when I'm ordering stuff is to see if I can build a computer setter up in the theme of that video. So, world's thinnest mouse. Check. We've got a mouse mat, fractions of a millimeter thick. Check. What about the keyboard though? That's pretty thin. I'm sure we can do better though. Ooh, Logitech. That's very thin. It's just, it's just the keys. If only you could have a keyboard without the key sticking out. Okay, um, that's probably gonna do the job. This is a keyboard made completely of glass. But of course, for a computer setup, we need a computer. So we could get like a really high-end gaming PC, but built into a really thin case like this. Um, well, this is the coolest PC case I've ever seen in my life. We could get one of those really mini PCs. Mm. No, no, no. Okay, this has got to be special. Let's get something custom made. This is not gonna be cheap. Speaking of computers though, I've wanted a good Windows laptop for a really long time now. Let's see, Dell XPS 15, which is 17 millimeters thick. That's less than two centimeters. There's the Razer Book, which is actually 15 millimeters. I think we got our answer. The Acer Swift 7 is 9.95 millimeters thick, less than a centimeter. Oh my God. I'm looking at the thinnest screen I've ever seen. I'm just gonna buy it. I'm not even gonna show you yet. This is gonna be worth the wait. Okay, what kind of stuff do I just wish was thinner? A suitcase. Why not? The narrowest sunglasses ever. The skinniest wallet ever. I'm so confused. Like. How does that even hold anything? And then finally, to finish off the budget, I wanna see if we can find a speaker. Now, this might be a bit of a challenge because you'd normally need to make speakers chunky so that they can get enough bass. I like the buttery biscuit bass. Wait, that's a speaker. Ah, it's not for sale. How convenient. So I think this is the slimmest speaker that you can buy. It's apparently as thin as your phone. And then this is even thinner because it's not actually a speaker in itself, but it can turn anything you stick it onto into a speaker. Okay, someone take this laptop away from me. Right, two months later, and it's time to unbox it all. So let's start thin and just keep getting thinner. I mean, all you gotta do is to look at this packaging to realize just how thin things are going to get. Okay, so starting at nine centimeters. You know that custom PC I was talking about? We got it. And you're actually looking at it right now. So basically, I found this company called Novatech, and they have a sub-brand called Rain Gaming, which has some of the coolest custom PCs I've ever seen. So I told them, I'm looking for the thinnest extreme PC on the market. And from there, we came up with the idea of building it into my desk. Now, I'll admit, this is still not the most razor-thin PC you've ever seen. We could have made it thinner, but... Wait till you see what it can do. I mean, just for starters, mechanical legs. So with one tap of a button, this can go from below my waist to above my head. Mr. Who's the Boss themed colors across all cabling and lighting. Electrochromic glass, such that if all that color becomes a distraction, I can just tap one button and bam, it'll pass a specialized current through it, which changes the chemical arrangement of that glass to make it opaque. But on top of all of that, power. We're talking a 12th gen Intel i7 12700KF processor, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti graphics card, and WD Black SM850 storage, which is so fast it can copy an entire one terabyte hard drive across in just three minutes. We'll keep adding things to this PC setup as we go through the video and unbox thinner and thinner devices. Okay, dropping all the way down to just five centimeters, we have a Rolink suitcase. And you're probably thinking, five centimeters? I couldn't even fit my underwear in that. But it expands. 
It seems like a very solid piece of kit. Mm -hmm. This feels wrong. <laughs> it's not a suitcase, surely. I love the concept of this. It only ever takes up as much space as it needs to. Now, at half the thickness of even that, we're only three products in and already reaching 2.5 centimeters, HP's sprocket. This is a printer. That's just ridiculous. So in theory, I should just be able to pull up a photo on my phone. Oh, something's happening. It's really fast. Then the picture goes right up to the edges. I'm quite impressed. Pretty high resolution. But if you think that's thin, okay, just for perspective, here's a pair of Apple AirPods, pretty thin, credit where due, but nothing compared to this monstrosity. Inside this pack should be the Yobio Card 20 earphones. Oh Lord. They're called Card because they're so slim that it's, it's not just that they'll fit in your pocket, these could fit in your wallet. I wonder if they've just given them like no battery life. Now, I honestly have zero idea what to expect from this one. It genuinely looks like someone's taken a proper camera and then just sat on it repeatedly to flatten it. It's quite a strange product. Like it does actually feel quite solid and well-made, but then to look at it's more like a middle school origami project, but then it is actually a proper digital camera with real interchangeable lenses. So let's stick our SD card in here. We've got a slider to select from a bunch of different filters. One thing's for absolute sure though, these photos are an entire mood. It's got a really old school quirky style to it. You know, I would genuinely say that testing new speakers is one of my favorite things ever to do. And that pleasure is never greater than when you're testing a record breaking one. This Lenovo 700 is just 1.1 centimeter thick. Okay. That is unbelievable. How is that gonna sound? Because normally for proper bass, you need physical depth for the speaker to be able to like push air. I think this is smaller than my phone. The speaker is so thin, the sound is so fat. <laughs> Especially when you factor in that they've also apparently squeezed an eight hour battery life into this. Oh, but we can actually get even thinner audio. And to get this thin, we're having to use a completely different technology. This is Blade. It's not a speaker in of itself, but you can place Blade onto anything, and I mean anything, to turn that device into a speaker. It sounds like science fiction. Instead of turning your music into a sound wave directly, it's instead converting it into a mechanical vibration that can use the space inside another object as a sound chamber to induce that sound wave from it instead. Okay, so you can kind of hear the vibration already, right? It's like magic! Oh my God! I can feel the bass through this cardboard box. The bass I'm getting while it's sitting on this PC is insane. Okay, we're about to break the one centimeter mark. And I still can't quite believe that the product we're doing that with is a laptop. This is the record-breaking Acer Swift 7, apparently made possible through a razor-thin magnesium aluminium alloy material, and also presumably a severe trimming of the speakers and battery. No, it barely feels heavier than my iPad. I feel like the hardest thing to compliment here is the fact that this is two layers. This is a screen, a keyboard, ports, it's everything. It genuinely feels like I'm using a, a dummy unit that doesn't actually function. Let's try watching a quick video. The screen is a bit dim though, and the speakers are, yeah, oh God, oh. moving on. <laughs> okay, time to completely switch tact. Coming in at 0.9 centimeters thick, these are the Rove sunglasses. Slightly cheap packaging, but we'll look past it. There it is. I feel like I need to stress this. 0.9 centimeters is how thick they are when folded. If I unfold them with one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven. This is so thin. I feel like I could slice something with it. Fruit me, just for science. Oh, we're in. <laughs> no way. Didn't think I'd be doing this today. Now, swooping in at just 0.8 centimeters, we have that keyboard, which is effectively just a sheet of glass with touch sensors on it doesn't sound the most appealing to use. Like the reason that normal keyboards are comfortable is that the keys will travel as you press them in. This one doesn't have that. And what is that font? <laughs> I can't complain too much though. It's extremely thin and the core concept of this design is straight out of a sci-fi film. 
Plus, if I turn it on here, it also has LEDs baked in. Yeah, this ain't the best. <laughs> What's kind of crazy though, is that even thinner than that sheet of glass, there is a company called Espresso, who's managed to build a fully working display. It's not the highest spec screen out there, it's a 1080p LCD, but still, the dimensions are shocking, and it feels quality. This is an aluminium and glass shell. It reminds me a lot of an iPad in terms of design. Let's come back to that when we have all the pieces of this setup. Okay, not so fun fact about me, but quite a while now I have struggled with falling asleep. I think my brain is so used to just constantly churning out video ideas that it, it doesn't know how to shut off anymore. Well, these earbuds, called the Cocoon Night Buds, are designed to solve that problem. They're pretty funky looking. <laughs> But that's because of this hub in the middle here, which is packed with sensors that will be able to detect when you've fallen asleep. So you no longer need to keep setting these sleep timers for your content. These earphones will automatically fade out your music the minute you no longer need it. But that's not even the coolest bit. They can also track your sleep quality and help you understand it. They can detect snoring and mask the noise from it. And they're so thin from every angle, a quarter of the thickness of normal Bluetooth buds, such that it doesn't really matter what position you're lying down in, you can't really feel them. They just, they feel like an extension of your head. Based on a quick first impression, I am a big fan of this. And the sound quality is not the best, but pretty good. I think you just broke the box on my head. Okay, well, here's the product. Kind of looks like I damaged it more than it damaged me. We're talking a mouse that is just 0.5 centimeters thick. Incredible novelty, but I just, I can't quite understand, apart from specifically this video, who would buy this? I feel like as we're getting further and further through this video, each successive product is becoming more and more of a feat. And this, the Remarkable 2 tablet, might be the coolest so far. It's not an Android tablet per se, but it is a smart tablet of sorts. And it just feels a bit surreal to hold. It's like, it's got the density and the weight of a, a coaster for your mug. It doesn't feel like there's anything in there. So for starters, this is an e-reader, just like a Kindle, but with a high resolution large screen. You can read web pages on it, but more importantly, thanks to this pencil right here, you can write. All right, let's just give this a shot. A sub to the channel would be remarkable. This is shockingly responsive for an e-ink type display. And, oh, check this. If you write with the pen completely upright, it comes out narrow. But if you use the sides, it's thicker. You can even rub out using the eraser on the back. But then maybe the coolest aspect of this is that with one tap, I can convert all this handwritten text into an editable format. And then literally pick up my phone and carry on where I left off. I don't really know how to rate this one though. I've never really used anything like it. <laughs> Thinnest power bank in the world coming right up. What in God's name? Okay, hold up. This is my normal power bank. This is the clutch charger. It's, it's literally the size of a credit card. And it's not as useless as you might think. It still has LED indicator lights to show you its charge level. It's got the USB-C cable baked inside it. I guess because it's so thin that it otherwise wouldn't fit. And the battery capacity itself is still 3000 milliamp hours. Which, you know, we've seen more, we've seen way more, but that's still enough to get your phone from completely dead to anywhere between 50 and 100%, depending on what model it is. Speaking of credit cards though, at just 0.15 centimeters, which is basically two dimensional at this point, we have the Win Wallet. I mean, it's safe to say this is at least five times thinner than any other wallet I've ever seen. It is very cool, but I'm just thinking like when you get to a stage like this, can you really call it a wallet? Like at this point, isn't it basically just a 3D printed clip? All right, so just before the thinnest thing in this entire video, I've got something pretty mind blowing to show you. You know how we had that thinnest espresso display? Well, that is nothing compared to what Royal has come up with. Okay, so the display connector's gotta go into the power board. We're gonna need a power supply. This is like really high stakes Lego. And then if we had a power source, oh my God. I genuinely think this is the coolest piece of tech I've ever held in my hands. What you're looking at right now is a fully functional Android device that's barely thicker than a piece of paper. And it is completely flexible. This is basically a development kit. It's Royal saying to other companies, look, look at our screen. Look how versatile it is. Look how bright and beautiful it is. Look how thin it is. 
These screens already exist on some foldable phones that you might have already seen, but it's just being able to hold the display on its own and use it as a standalone device, it kind of just opens you up to what's potentially possible. Oh, let's see if we can make a call. Actually, where am I gonna fit a SIM card in on that? I sound like a broken record at this point, but we are getting even thinner. Oh my. I've just realized something. You know this like incredibly, incredibly thin mouse mat we have here? This is the mouse mat with a layer of packaging all around it. It almost feels like I'm gripping air. Oh, oh, I have never seen a mouse pad like it. Oh, wait, there's another layer to peel off. That, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> so there you have it, the thinnest extreme PC setup ever. Okay, so you know how we just got like the thinnest wallet ever and we were wondering what exactly we could pay for with it? Well, Surfshark VPN. Hear me out here, this service is not $10 or $5, it is $2.49 a month, which split between the seven people I share it with comes out to just 36 cents. And that 36 cents gives me anonymity, especially when I'm logged into public Wi-Fi networks, which are the most vulnerable. Better prices for products that use my browser cookies to try to make things more expensive for me. Access to the full internet, including sites blocked by my region, like TV shows from another country. And encryption. Every minute that you spend online, companies are recording data about who you are and what you're doing. Which means that even if these companies don't have any nefarious intentions, when there's a data breach, that data can fall into the hands of someone who does. Things like your location information. So give it a go. And if you do hit the link in the description and use code BOSS, it's not just that you get it for that $2.49 a month price, but you also get three months for free on top of that. Fully refundable if you don't like it. To check out some of the biggest tech you've ever seen, that video's here. Or to check out some of the smallest, that video's here. My name is Aaron, this is Mr. Who's the Boss, I'll catch you in the next one.